wasn't on the docket for today. I just felt like checking out this big fancy church. It's, it's very pretty. The doors are open as one would expect with a church. Or one would hope. Have your crucifixion there. I'm going to try to be quiet and respectful. As I am whenever I enter a, a holy place. This is a cool thing. I don't know what that what that is, what the significance of that is. But it's pretty spiffy. Obviously. A small altar over here for auxiliary services. But when one wants to do things fancy-like, one can come up here to the big proper altar. I can see the cool candle with numbers that signify something and have the omega symbol on them. And you have this nice little vessel for holy water, for baptismals. And I really like, ooh, that is a nice pipe organ. Look at that. The lights in here are very cool. Though they're not on. The stained glass is simple. And I really, really like the illustrations, the carvings, up on the on the walls there. I'm going to try to get a better picture of those if I can. And if I can't, well, there you go. But uh, they're carved to look like fluffy, puffy clouds. I think it's a lovely old church. Certainly not as old as the Doris Dolman, but, uh, but old enough. And uh, as is my usual practice now, when I'm touring around and taking pictures of things, I feel like I owe them something for that, and hopefully that shows a little bit of appreciation. Oh, nope, wait, skeev. Ske Ooh, skeev, skeev. Good, that's, skeev must be push, and trek must be pull. So we just learned something, trek, skeev. Hey, that, I have found a mnemonic device for that, skeev, meaning push. If something skeeves you out, you probably want to push it away. Boom! I will never forget that word now. Skeev. Now it's time to play the Where Am I game. Now I really have no idea where I'm going. We're on the right track now. I just saw a sign which clearly indicated the direction of my Haugen. It said this way. So that's where we're going. It says my Haugen is this way. And we will go this way. This is a big sign on the side of that building that says, My Haugen. Means that we're definitely at My Haugen. Which is good. Because I am, frankly, a little tired of walking uphill. Watch when I get into the gate, it's just, you just go up that hill. But it'll be okay. So this is the entrance, and that is Anders Sandvik, my Hagen's Grundlegger. 
I don't know what that means, but I'm sure if I looked around, I'd find it in English. Either way, I assume he's an important guy. <sighs> I think to start, we'll go to the town collection. Um, scenes from a railway station town, reconstructed buildings from Lillehammer, the Upland Archives, local history archives, and the Silversmithy. Sounds like the place for me, man. Now, back behind us, there is the rural collection. And that's more like, a, you know, an old uh, uh, farm kind of town, like a much wider uh, area. But I thought, you know, starting up <laughs> and working my way down would be a little bit more conducive to the whole experience. So, besides, I want to see that train. Wesley's going to love that. I have a little nephew named Wesley, and he loves Thomas the Tank Engine. He loves trains. So if I can get him some pictures, or even some video, of an old-fashioned wooden train, I bet he'd really dig that. And consequently, so would I. Because when I make other people happy, it makes me happy. I wonder if you can go in the houses, or if they're just houses. Well, guess we're about to find out. Can you go in the houses? The houses appear to be barred from the inside. You can't go in the houses. At least why it's not in the random middle of the track houses. Huh, I'll go this way. Let's go this way. Seems like the place to be. Scoops fruit. Looks like they have sculptures for sale. This looks like ah, materials for smithing repairs. Cars and toys for sale. Good smets. Pop it handle. Of course, the Apple Tech. I hope you can see in there because I can't. Ah, uh, there's the old train. That's what I was looking for. metal, which is almost always of interest to me. Oh, I seem to have wandered into somebody's side yard. <laughs> 